In the annals of the Wild West, few names evoke as much intrigue and scandal as Billy Clanton. As a young man, Clanton was drawn into a life of crime and outlaws, which would eventually lead him to a fateful encounter with the lawyers of Tombstone, Arizona. While his name is forever associated with the infamous gunfight at the OK Corral, there's more to the Billy Clanton story. In this video, we dive into the life of this notorious outlaw, uncovering the events that shaped fate and ultimately led to his tragic death. From his early years as a rancher to his final moments on the dusty streets of Tombstone, we'll trace the life of Billy Clanton and examine the legacy he left behind. William Harrison Clanton, known as Billy Clanton, was born in 1862 in Hamilton County, Texas. He was one of seven children born to Newman Haynes Clanton and Mariah Sexton Clanton. The other siblings are John Wesley, Joseph Isaac, Phineas Fay, Alonzo Peter, Mary Elise, and Esther Ann. Newman worked as a laborer and gold miner before becoming a herder in the Arizona Territory in the late 1870s. After the Civil War ended, the family moved to Adams County, Illinois, before settling in California. Unfortunately, Mariah died in 1866. In 1873, William Billy Clanton and his family left their hometown in Hamilton County, Texas and moved to Pima County in Arizona Territory before settling in Charleston. Remember to hit the like button because it helps us a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to not miss the upcoming interesting video. In 1877, Clanton's father, Newman Haynes Clanton, began building Clanton Ranch, an important undertaking that would become the basis of the family's livelihood. That same year, explorer Ed Shefflin discovered a large silver mine on the Goose Flats, east of the San Pedro River, about 24 kilometers from Clanton Ranch. The discovery of silver led to a large number of gold prospectors and miners. And in just two years, the population of the nearby town of Tombstone had exploded from less to than 100 residents to more than 7,000. Despite the family's primary occupation as ranchers, Billy Clanton and his brother Ike became regular visitors to Tombstone on the weekends where they began to engage in the town's business dealings. Billy was in charge of running the business associated with the farm and worked with the McLaurie brothers. Historical records show that the Clanton family's move to Arizona was due to the promise of new opportunities in the burgeoning western frontier. Newman Haynes Clanton, a former worker, gold miner, and farmer, saw the potential of cattle ranching in the Arizona Territory. Clanton farms make an important impact on the family's livelihood and are central to their daily lives. The discovery of silver in the area changed the local economy and attracted many people to the area. As a result, Tombstone experienced rapid development and became a center of economic activity of the time. The Clanton brothers recognized the town's potential and began to take advantage of the opportunities it presented. However, Ike's personality is an obstacle to their success. Historical records depict him as an arrogant and boastful person, which makes him unpopular with locals in and around Tombstone. Not only that, but Billy and Ike's involvement in Tombstone's business dealings and the Clanton family's cattle ranching will soon bring them into conflict with the town's most famous inhabitants, Wyatt Earp, his brothers, and Doc Holliday. In December 1879, Wyatt Earp arrived in Tombstone, Arizona with a few precious horses. However, one of them was stolen shortly after his arrival. Earp had heard rumors that the Clanton family had taken his horse. Almost a year passed before he received word that the stolen horse had been seen at Clanton Farm near Charleston. Earp wasted no time and rode to Clanton Farm to investigate. When he arrived, he found his stolen horse being ridden down the street and placed in a stable. Earp built his stable at another corral and telegraphed James Earp of Tombstone to send the horse title to Charleston. 
Warren Earp, rushed out with the papers that night. Earp later testified in a trial, saying, While I was waiting for the paperwork, Billy Clanton discovered that I was in town and was trying to get the horse out of the stable. He couldn't get it. After the papers arrived, he raised the horse without giving the papers and asked if I had lost any more horses. This incident was one of many conflicts that led to the infamous shooting at the OK Corral. Earp's horse theft is just one example of the lawlessness that occurred in the Arizona Territory in the late 1800s. The Clanton family was known to be involved in herding and illegal activities, leading to a feud with the Earp brothers and their allies. Wyatt Earp's horse theft is also important because it highlights the difficulty of law enforcement in the Wild West. Law enforcement is often ineffective and vigilant justice is sometimes the only way to maintain order. This is especially true in the Arizona Territory, where the rugged terrain and sparse population make it difficult to establish a stable and effective legal system. Overall, Wyatt Earp's horse theft was a small but remarkable incident that revealed the larger problems of lawlessness and vigilance in the Wild West. In July 1879, a group of robbers attacked a ranch located north of Sonora, Mexico. The attack resulted in the death of several residents. To search for the killer, the Mexican Rurales, commanded by Commander Francisco Neri, crossed the border into Arizona. Johnny Ringo later claimed that Old Man Clanton and his sons, Ike and Billy, were among the killers. On August 13, 1881, Billy Clanton's father was ambushed and killed in Guadalupe Canyon by the Mexican Rurales. Despite this tragedy, Clanton's sons continued to run the family farm as if nothing had happened. A few weeks later, on October 25, 1881, Ike Billy and the McLaurie brothers arrived at Tombstone after working on collecting cattle lost in an earlier Apache raid. The events that took place on that fateful night and the following day have been recounted in various versions. Historians and researchers have tried to piece together the events that led to the infamous OK Corral shooting. While it is clear that tensions between the Earps and Clantons were high, the exact events leading up to the gunfight remain a matter of interpretation. Some believe that the Clantons and Earps had a long-standing feud that led to the confrontation. Others speculated that Earps were motivated by financial gain, as some of its associates were involved in mining operations in the area. Ike Clanton has had many confrontations with the Earps and Doc Holliday, on October 26, 1881, a momentous event occurred when Ike and his brother Billy, along with Billy Claiborne and the McLaury brothers, gathered at the Dexter Corral in Tombstone. When they were found carrying guns in town, panicked residents alerted the Earps. When the Earps tried to disarm the cowboys, a gunfight broke out, later known as the gunfight at the OK Corral. Today, there are still many different versions of what really happened and who fired the first shot. According to most data from history, Billy was trying to get his brother out of Tombstone on the day of the shooting. When the shooting began, Billy didn't back down from the famous gunmen and lawyers. Despite being shot through the arm, Billy managed to switch his pistol and continue fighting. Even after the gunfire had stopped and ammo ran out, Billy asked for another pistol. Billy Clanton opened fire in battle and was killed along with the McLaurys. Ike Clanton and Billy Claiborne abandoned the brothers, fleeing the scene within the first few seconds of the gunfight. Meanwhile, Doc Holliday, Virgil, and Morgan Earp are injured. The town is divided, with many supporting the Clantons and others supporting the Earps. The result was the largest funeral in Tombstone's history. More than 300 people followed the hearse, and 2,000 others stood on the sidewalk watching. Three of the cowboys are buried at Boot Hill Cemetery. William McLaurie, brother of Frank and Tom, tried to prosecute Earps for the cowboy's death. He stated in a letter during the preliminary hearing that the brothers 
and Billy Clanton were planning to visit Fort Worth, Texas after selling their cattle. However, the allegations were eventually dismissed due to insufficient evidence. The gunfight at the OK Corral has become one of the most famous and controversial events in Wild West history. Many theories and explanations have been proposed regarding the factors that led to the shootings and who was responsible for the violence. Some argue that the feud between the Cowboys and the Earps stems from political rivalry and disagreement over issues such as mining claims and land rights. Others suggested that the gunfight was the result of a personal enmity between the two groups. Whatever the cause, the legacy of the OK Corral gunfight has left an indelible mark on the history and folklore of the American West. Billy Clanton's life was short but eventful. He grew up in a ranching family and his involvement in the infamous events of the Old West has made him a controversial figure. While some see him as a victim of the Earp brothers and their allies, others see him as someone willing to engage in blatant criminal activity. When we look back at his life, we can see how it reflects the complexity of the Wild West. The line between law and lawlessness is often blurred, and the pursuit of justice is often intertwined with personal enmity and political ambition. Billy Clanton's story reminds us of the importance of understanding the historical context in which events intertwine and the role that each individual plays in shaping it. Today, Billy Clanton is remembered as one of the participants in the infamous gunfight at the OK Corral, a pivotal moment in the legend of American West. But his legacy goes beyond that single event. His life and death play an important role. His story provides insights into the human experience that is relevant today as it was more than a century ago. Please like and share if you find the video content interesting and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below so as not to miss the upcoming interesting videos. Thanks for watching.